is she here? So today I'm gonna tell you how I studied for my SAT. So my SATs are next next week. It's on the 21st. Um, it's a Saturday, and if you're taking it, tweet me or hit me up. So maybe um, we can see each other. Or maybe we can meet. Yes. Um, I'm taking my SATs twice. I'm taking one in I think June. And I'm taking one um, next next week. I'm also taking my subject test. I think about May six. Uh, I'm taking biology, uh, chemistry, and uh, math level two. So I'm. I guess I'm making this video so uh, I show you how I study for my SATs and how I like it. So when I study for my SATs, I'm more on the math side because I'm kind of weak on my math side. Uh, my PSAT scores just got released also. Uh, I got a 1,020. I think um, I got higher in math and English, but they were just like 90 points apart. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with that. It's just practice, so I know my skills. But I'm focusing more on math in my uh, perspective because uh, I'm not that good with math. Like, English, I'm not like super good, but I'm like solidly okay. I'm like kind of okay with it so uh yeah let's do this so the first thing I do when I study I use my book this is the Princeton SAT premier book um, I use this because it helps me gu it guides me and it shows me where like uh, what to do in my studies like what to focus on like because um, for math SATs it's kind of confusing I guess if you don't have a book or if you don't have something that you can guide through because there's a lot to learn in an SAT it's for like since it's math um, there's a lot happening this book has everything for math math and English so this is really good and it's really worth it uh, this is about I think this was 1,500 pesos um, it's 30 dollars 35 dollars US dollars um, it's really good because it also has it also has practice tests. Uh, so you, um, when you're done with the chapter, you can always um, test yourself and you can check the scores and you can see what's what you got right and what you got wrong. It also breaks down a lot of things like learn what you learned previously, like fraction is um, like one of the parts. It's mostly like super basic math, like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, fractions, decimals, imaginary numbers. It's really like it really breaks down the things for you so you can learn it yourself. So the next thing I do when I study uh, math mostly, I use papers. Well, I take down notes. Uh, I have these notes for my math. Uh, it helps me because um, I can remember and I can just carry this around everywhere. Because if, if I can't carry like a whole book around every single where I go, so... I use these so I can take down notes like cleanly. I use different colors um, so I remember them easily. Uh, I told you this is like standard symbols, um, laws, fractions. It's super basic math, but like it combines a lot of the basic math to form a complicated math question, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, so I have like answers. I do my formulas here. I take the notes from the examples. Like, I kind of copy the examples so and write down the formulas myself. So I remember like how to do it when I when I'm in the test. So the next thing I do if I study for my SATs, I use my practice tests. I get this. I get these from online. You just search Google like SAT math practice test. They give you a lot of options. These. This is just like the SATs, so they give you like sample questions. Uh, they also what I like about these, they give like the references on top. Um, if, if I if I ever forget, uh, but I mean you still have to memorize formulas. But this is like you can carry this around, and since it's practice long, you don't you're not pressured. Uh, some papers don't come with answers uh, like this. Um, but you can always ask your math teacher to check it just to just so you know what's your strength and what you have to pro focus on and what you need to learn more about your about the test so that's it for this week guys uh, 
this week we went back to school. Uh, we didn't have much to do. I submitted my written task on Friday. That was written task one, part two. So it's uh, language, mass commu mass media, and culture. I think uh, something like that. Mass communication, something like that. Um, I talked about female and female uh, stereotypes. Uh, my primary source was Legally Blonde and Mean Girls. So that happened and. Before I go, I want to give you one tip uh, in acad academic life. Have a planner. Seriously though, have a planner. Um, I decorated my planner with stickers. Uh, super a lot. Like, I devoted myself. Um, this, this is what happened this week. Uh, I put like workout stickers. These are Disney stickers. I put like weight tracker, height, tr uh, waistline tracker, um, how many cups of like Starbucks I drank, um, like a lot of things like Bible verses, what's Jew, uh, here also, yeah, like what's happening. It's super, super, super nice having a planner since so you know what's happening, and uh, you take track, you keep track of. You know how much you work out or how much you weigh if you want to lose weight I've been working out a lot um, this week I worked out at least four times and I had ballet also ballet is like a separate hour for me so I have my minimum hour for working out is four so I have four hours working out plus I have ballet that's a lot of working out it, it takes my time but it's worth it because I'm doing something for myself so I will see you all next week. Um, like and share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notific, uh, hit hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna be notified when I upload new videos. Bye guys, I love y'all.